Hi everyone, this week there's a bit of confusion over the Emirates ID 5-day deadline. A new flyover opens to help ease the traffic in Al Barsha area. Dubai may get a restaurant in the shape of the sinking Titanic. And stay tuned since we've got something better than Pinterest for all you guys. This is The Roundabout with me, Sandra. First up, the linking of tenancy contracts and the Emirates ID cards with the residence visa renewal is causing a bit of confusion among residents and typing centres across the city due to the number of steps involved in the process. In addition, Emirates ID applicants must get their residence visa renewed or apply for it within five days and if they fail to do so, they get a warning that their ID application has been cancelled and they have to restart the process from scratch. However, PROs and typing centre staff feel the period is too short given the volume and requirements for completing visa renewals. And to add to that, there's a lot of confusion over the process and documents required in order to complete the renewals of all applications. While Emirates ID card and residence visa processes have been linked across the country, applicants must apply for them separately. And for those renewing the residence visa for their family, are required to attest their tenancy contract with Ijari, the online lease registration service. In other news, a new 940 million dirham interchange linking Hesse Street, Al Khail Road, Al Barsha Road and the Old Emirates Road has been opened this week. The flyover, which took five years to complete, is expected to improve traffic flow between Al Barsha and the newly named Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Road. With the opening of this flyover, the RTA has completed the construction of all works in this project, which began in 2008. Now, a restaurant in the shape of the sinking Titanic could be the next big attraction to hit Dubai. Yes, you heard me right, the eatery would feature memorabilia from the hit movie about the disaster and be shaped to look like the cruise liner as it dips below the water. This is just one of the ideas proposed for the 10 Hollywood-themed restaurants and bars by the builders of Damak Towers by Paramount, an apartment complex in downtown Dubai that will be themed around Paramount Studios and its blockbusters such as Titanic and The Godfather. No final decision has been made yet by Paramount, but insiders say that even the gardens of the complex will be shaped with a Hollywood movie theme. The apartment project is expected to be completed by the end of 2015. While Paramount Studios has not invested any money in the project, it did sell the use of its name and the right to use Paramount movies in promotional videos and material. And finally, if dudes thought Pinterest was getting a bit too girly with the number of pictures on hair, makeup, clothes and the like, here's something for the macho dudes out there. Let me introduce you to Mantresting.com. While it looks and works similar to Pinterest on the outside, it definitely is created to the male species on the inside. While Pinterest uses pins and hearts, Mantrist uses nails and bumps. It also has a category called manly things full of whiskey, guns and ties and has mantristing food very similar to the stuff you'd see on Man vs Food or Epic Meal Time. And then you have the manly DIY projects of course. Have any of you checked out the site yet? Let us know if you've nailed anything yet. Well that's all the news we have for you this week. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. And while you're at it, follow us on Twitter as well. Here's your weather for the week. Have a great weekend.